Very best question, right? So this is not typical, mostly not related to ab initio basically. So this is kind of some kind of algorithm maybe, you know, the to try, try and test the analytical skill or, uh, you know, uh, um, algorithm skill basically, how you can manipulate the dates and all those kind of things. All right. So, so let's talk about it actually. So my, I have a two date actually. So this is my 25th October 2022 and my second date is let's say 24th of August 2023. All right. So what I need to uh, do is like I need to uh, from both the ends, uh, I need to have the, you know, quarter start date and the quarter end date. Quarter end date from uh, of the second, uh, this one, second date and quarter start date for the first date. So, so that uh, within those quarters, right, my, this date is residing, right? So, uh, for this, um, for this one, right? FQDT 25th October 2022, my 1st October 2022 is the quarter start date of this date, right? Because this uh, this date falls into the fourth quarter of the 2022 and the fourth quarter starts from the 1st of October 2022. Also, uh, with respect to second date, right? So 24th August 2023, the 24th uh, August 2023 falls into the this quarter, 23rd uh, September quarter, and third quarter of the of the 2023, and also the end date of the third quarter is going to be 30th September 2023. So, in those uh, cases, right? So, in those uh, like uh, you know, similarly, if I give two dates, right? So, I need to get the what was the quarter starting date for that particular date range and what is the quarter end date for the particular date range. So I need to de devise some kind of algorithm so that I can solve each every problem. So my this code could run into any reformat or any other piece of you know XFR. So um, I can uh, do that, right? So first of all, I'm going to create two vectors, right? Quarter, de quarter dates first vector, you know, for the starting of the quarters. You know, there would be four values like starting of the quarter of four quarter would be the four. So these dates I'm going to create actually first of January 2020, uh, first of January first year part, year, uh, year part one is going to be 2023, right? So I can take the date and I can, you know, uh, substring the, you know, fifth to fourth. From fifth, I can get the four, you know, numbers four spaces, uh, four places, and I would get the 2022, 2023. These are the string, simple string functions. Everybody can do that. And then, then I need to create two vectors actually, and uh, quarter end date vector and quarter start date vector basically. So these are the four values in each vector basically. And now I would be, uh, I would be passing all these uh, in a loop basically, so that I could get the quarter first um, you know, first quarter date, you know, and uh, last quarter date, last quarter and the date, first quarter or uh, quarter end date or maybe quarter start date, quarter start date, quarter and date, let's say. So similarly, let's say now if the date, right, this date, uh, FQDT in the sense of this first date, if the first date is, you know, greater than quarter dates I in the sense of first January 2022, if this is greater than then, what you need to do is you need to assign this number if it is greater than for this uh, 24th October. Yes, it is there. Okay, so it is uh, there. Then I becomes I plus in the next time, and next time also this date is there, right? This October date is greater than uh, April, first April. Then also it will keep on going, and third in third iteration, this September quarter date in the sense uh, first quarter 2022. First, uh, first October 2022, uh, not first quarter, first of July 2022 is 
going to be the greater than the uh, sorry 25th october is going to be greater than the first july 2022 then also it goes and it keep on happening until you know third index zero first second third index so my date the final date q, uh, q start date comes as a first october 2022 this this part so this is the end of the iteration so in this 24th uh, 25th october 22 it's you know it satisfies all four and the at the end it becomes the my quarter start date similarly in within the same loop uh, when we compare this uh, uh, 31st march 2023 is going to be greater than uh, greater than uh, this one uh, uh, 24th uh, August 2022 no it is not so it is not going to be there then again uh, 31st June is going to be greater than uh, 30, 24th August no 31st September 30th September is going to be greater than uh, uh, 24th August 2023 yes it is so in iteration number 0 1 2 in second iteration this is condition is going to be satisfied so this value is going to be assigned right so similarly uh, we can do that right maybe i have missed it okay so first for quarter start date it is correct but for quarter end date, I think I need to have some other uh, condition basically. Uh, maybe I would be doing something different over here. Mm, okay. I need to get the end date so I would start from the let's say I would start from the December right if it is a December is greater than this I'll keep on uh, calculating if uh, September is greater than this I would be doing yes if uh, June is greater than this no if it is march is greater than this no so what i would try to do is let's i would be creating another uh, variable so that i can you know do like that december i'm going to assign here june i'm going to assign uh, sorry september i'm going to assign at the second place and june i'm going to assign at the third place and the march i'm going to assign at the third place now if i do this one then it is going to be perfect mm, i think i could be doing this again next now now it is correct so this is just to try to manipulate the dates and all okay so similarly you can solve kind of different you know question like this so thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, we are going to see many more videos, many more ABC interview questions, also, also other concepts with respect to Abinition, AWS and Data Warehousing, SQL. All right. Thank you so much.